Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I want to show you a couple of tricks to working with alternate layouts in InDesign. Whether you're creating a layout that will be viewed in one orientation at different sizes, or on a device that lets you switch between orientations, you can create these different layouts in the same documents using InDesign's Alternate Layouts feature. So let's take this layout, which is set up for an iPad Pro horizontal or wide layout. Once I have the layout done, I'm ready to make the portrait version. You want to wait as late as possible in the workflow to make the alternate, because any changes don't ripple down through the alternates. I'll click on the Pages panel menu and choose Create Alternate Layout, and we have a few options that pop up. It automatically assumes you want the opposite orientation at the same size. Depending on what you need, you can make any changes here. I'll keep the default settings and give it a new name. Let's look at a few of the other options. You can choose a liquid page rule here for all the pages, or preserve the existing one if you've set up a specific rule for each page. You might choose Scale just to keep everything fitting within the new page. In this case, I've applied the object-based rule to the page and applied settings to all page items ahead of time. I'll dive more into liquid page rules and those options in an upcoming video. Next, let's check link stories, so you can edit text across all layouts at once. I'll also cover that more in an upcoming video. Here's the option I want to focus on for right now. Copy text styles to new style group. Let's back out of here for a second and take a look. You can see I already have my text styles put into style groups. Let's get back to creating a new alternate layout. We'll choose the opposite orientation. And again, depending on your output needs, you could be doing pairs of the same size for different orientations on a device, or you could be doing just portrait layouts, for example, but with varying proportions. Now we have the second layout, and it looks pretty good. Because of how I set it up, we only need to make a few tweaks. The first is the headline text. When I click in the paragraph and go to my Paragraph Styles panel, I can see that I have two main style groups, each with my original style groups inside. This lets me style the headline in the tall layout differently than the headline in my wide layout. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. I'll also change the size of my body text and redefine the style. And that updates it because of how I have those set up. I can then make any other quick changes to the artwork and the text, but it doesn't take very long. We'll go ahead and resize the photo. And we'll move these elements to the left a little. I think that's pretty good. When I export within five, I'll choose the horizontal slider and responsive layouts. And I'll set the scaling to best fit on the desktop and to use desktop scaling for mobile. I can then check it in the browser to see how it will look at different sizes and orientations. Alternate layouts gives you more control of your designs, especially when you can't control which devices and orientations people may view them at. Be sure to check out In5 at in5.us and if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.